your faith, how it's impacted your art and how your art has impacted your faith. Oh, that could go on for hours, Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> um, my, my painting is all about my faith and vice versa. People ask me, when did you know that you would be an artist? And I say, I was born to be an artist. That's what I've been made to be. And I am following through on what God ordained me to be. That realization has come, I think, more into focus, sharper focus, the older I've got. I grew up in a family heritage with a family heritage of artists and craftspeople, also teachers and preachers. Oh. So, which was very interesting. Uh, also uh, atheists amongst our family and all, all a big combination, but a lot of uh, artists, teachers, preachers. Within that environment, all I ever wanted to be was an artist as a youngster. And as I grew up, I understood that that was what I was made to be. And that was a very important thing for all of us to follow through on what we were made to be. These passions and interests are there for a reason. You know, they're God-given and God-gifted for a reason. And it always feels as though something's missing if you don't feel fulfill your purpose mm. and the reason you were made. And your field of service as well, because my painting is my field of service, you know, in teaching in particular and meeting other people, it becomes a field of service. Well, when I was about 17, I had a dream and it's a dream, I think, for everyone. I was lifted up above the earth by God and I've, I was like a sieve you know, with holes all through me. And God said to me, I want to pour my spirit into you and I want it to flow out all over the earth. I remembered that dream vividly a couple of years ago and it really struck me. Oh, Lord, I didn't believe. I, I believed that I was going to, hot, you know, allow your spirit to flow through me and what an amazing thing to be a channel of blessing. Mm. to be allowed to be a channel of blessing. I didn't know I was going to go all over the world. Really? <laughs> it's an analogy for all of us to be open vessels for God's spirit to work through. And so every day I pray when I start out my day, oh Lord, let me be a channel of your blessing and peace. And please don't let me get in the way. When I'm at the easel, the easel for me and my, my studio is my sanctuary. The sanctuary where I come aside for worship with God, conversation with him, but I converse with him while I'm painting. And so painting takes on a, a life of a, my, my muscle memory is such after, you know, a lifetime of painting, my muscle memory just takes over. And I'm left to be able to converse with God as a paint. And so every stroke becomes a, a, just a, an activity of, of worship. Every mark I make is, oh God, you're just so amazing. You're just so amazing. The activity of painting is worship. The teaching is service. And so I've been able to bring all of that, or not I, but God's brought all of that together now in, in doing what I do and meeting up with people everywhere in the world, going out with your senses on high alert, like, right. <laughs> who do you want me to talk to, God? Yes. Who are you going to bring into my path? You know, and being open just to share the love of God. And one of the things that I've, I've become very conscious of is the need for Christians across the world to be encouraged encouraged to keep running the race don't give up it's yeah. tough but don't give up yes. keep running the race god's got this you know yes. and so that's basically what i'm about